now turn to uh, Ambassador Romana Blahuddin. Uh, she joining uh, uh, from some stunningly beautiful island. Uh, and you know it, the fact that she could find uh, time to join from there uh, also underscores the theme of digital connectivity. So she's ambassador. Just to introduce her briefly, uh, uh, she is a, a special coordinator and ambassador at large for connectivity in the European External Action Service. Uh, career diplomat uh, before joining the Croatian Ministry of Foreign Affairs in 1999. She worked as an analyst at the UN Commission for Former Yugoslavia, the UN Tribunal in The Hague, and the Council on Foreign Relations in Washington. Uh, she uh, is also a member of the European Council on Foreign Relations, as I said. Uh, uh, you know, her detailed uh, resume is again uh, available on our website. I now come to uh, uh, Her, Her Excellency Ambassador in Connectivity. Uh, Madam, you have been associated, you were directly involved with shaping one of the most important outcomes uh, of this uh, May 18 summit, which was a joint document, India-EU Connectivity Partnership. Now, uh, the question I wish to ask you is that, uh, you know, the way it has been packaged, uh, the partnership, the idiom and vocabulary in which it has been articulated suggests there's a conscious design to present the India, present and position the India EU Connectivity Partnership as an alternative to China's uh, Belt and Road Initiative. Is it a conscious branding exercise? Are we looking consciously to distinguish itself from the way China has been doing these connectivity projects? Also, on the practical side, going forward, what kind of joint connectivity projects? You know, we talk about the, the, the document talks about uh, physical connectivity, digital connectivity, people to people. What specific projects uh, can one expect in the near future? Have the two side held preliminary discussions on uh, some uh, of these connectivity projects? Over to you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope you hear me. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. Many, many regards from an island of the uh, southern Croatian coast. Very, very happy to have said it was clear these were negotiations between friends is indeed already already had and there was uh, more of fine tuning than in tough negotiations in the time that spans working on the tech. First was understanding about the value. The second was the understanding about about massive opportunities. And the third was I would not say this was in any way deliberately done as an alternative to the party. He is about cannot be emphasized enough. Um, we, we have from the very, very first minutes um, the government is school and economic sustainability and then for level playing field, of course, because conic is an extremely expensive um, and extremely useful environment for private investments. Um, it is not by chance that the two most mentioned out of the summit 
for the resume training talks and connectivity partnership together with us on, on investments on connectivity and the needs are, are massive. The, the World Bank estimates that globally, um, annually, there is a need between 1.83 trillion uh, uh, euros, which is which is the kind of money that you can get only if you really um, crowd in uh, uh, private capital at a very large scale. Uh, the second agreement we had was that this is a massive opportunity. European wow. Union and, and India, it's 1.8 billion people living in democracies in a data economy. When you put these together, this really um, is, I would say, first and foremost, a massive investment opportunity, not only into new technologies, but also in people. The, the green and digital transition that is before us requests a different type of, 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 of thinking and investing in connectivity. And I'm very happy, I have to say, that besides the traditional, um, and they were already mentioned, transports um, and energy, also digital, we have quite a large part of the document dedicated to human connectivity and investment in research and energy. And then the third element we, we agreed on from the very beginning, this is partnership for the future. Uh, this is not just a bilateral partnership. It's not just between EU and India. We really want to work together to create new values. Uh, and, and for me, it is really important that there are different factors present in the document. We're talking about connectivity west-east, uh, but we're also talking about north and south. We're mentioning Africa, we're mentioning Central Asia, we're mentioning Indo-Pacific, we're mentioning Indian neighborhood. And I hope at one point we'll be able to mention European neighborhood as well, because these are all spaces, territories, countries, and, and communities where India and the European Union can create new, new values. There are other interesting partners as well. You know that the European Union already has a partnership with Japan, uh, so we will want to see if there is possible uh, to something to be done in that, in that uh, uh, trilateral. Uh, there, uh, um, in general, connectivity is about about partnering, and I'm I'm very much looking forward to see how how this uh, will develop further in terms of our approach to the regional connectivity. Um, yet, two words of caution. Um, I think it's very important for all of us to understand this is not the sprint. This is a marathon. This is a very long. Um, investment and involvement and it really uh, is both about regulatory environments but very concrete projects as well this was one of your of your questions what are the concrete projects first let me let me say that european union has already been investing massively on connectivity in india uh, we have um, made uh, just a preliminary list of, of some of the projects that have already been implemented within connectivity, but it is connectivity. And uh, we are looking forward to sitting down with our colleagues from Delhi and looking at uh, the, the elements that are uh, needed to sort of have a a real plan on how to support investments in connectivity. Primarily, uh, I would want to, to be able to look at the financing side. Financing connectivity is of essence. Uh, we have a number of ideas. We have put a lot of these elements into documents and we will be following up uh, immediately.